All right, my name is Roa Bohm, the creator of Unbound Being. And today I'm going to be speaking about some new subjects because I haven't been making any videos lately, but um, I did write some titles down so over the last few weeks, and I'm going to do some of them today. So basically, um, satsang is an, inforce, an inverse force field. Satsang is an inverse force field. So you know satsang um, is the name a lot of um, gurus and teachers and masters give to um, their gatherings, their unions. Well, basically, satsang means to sit in the presence or in the company of truth. In other words, people gathering together in an environment that encourages a different way of being. Instead of an ego mind structure, uh, a mental based, intellectual based, conceptual based um, grouping, which is what most of the world is about today, um, with all the universities and schools and sciences. Instead, to rest in a setting, in an environment where people are embodying um, stillness and silence and a deeper sense of knowing that comes from being. It's a gnostic knowledge that comes from deep within. It comes from the silence and stillness of emptiness, which is a direct knowledge, gnostic knowledge. And so satsang is sitting in and being part of the presence of an environment with people that are present and still and in being. And you could see it in this way. You know how they have these Marvel movies nowadays with them, um, X-Men and things like that, all these kinds of movies. Some of these people possess these external powers, right? They, they, the physical type of things, basically, instead of the real power, which is the power within. Of course, the real heroes have um, are the gurus and the, and the sages, not the uh, physical powers to smash other people to bits. But let's just take it as an example. And you have some of these that can, some of these people have a power to have a force field. So it's kind of like a, a force field they can create around themselves. And you've seen it where somebody's attacking them and basically they can hold the, the, the force away, you know, because of course all violence is force, it's not power. So they, they hold with another force field, they hold the force of others away. And you can see satsang like that. In a way, um, in this world, there's very little spaces and places where the people the, are egoless, are free of their mental structures and their programming, their intellectual and um, programming of the mind structure, the ego structure. And so most spaces you're in, you're always bombarded with ego, with past, with history, with future, with ideas of being a personal identity instead of the original I behind it all, the empty space of pure awareness. So when you're in satsang, the master, the teacher, the guru, really what he does is he, he holds the force field so that the ego mind structures stay away. So it's like, boom, and he holds it. And, and although the people there still have ego for the larger part, they in a way are the closest to or inter interested in in removing themselves from that ego structure. And so the master, the guru, holds the force field and is like pushing out the ego structure and holding the space within that bubble, in that this small area, which now on earth is very rare, holding that space for the, the students or the, 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 the people that come there. I don't like the word students because they're all finally the, the, the one anyway. You're all the same as the guru. There is no real guru or master above you. But while you still hold to the ego structure, then of course you need somebody to hold that out. And that's what satsang really is. It's an, inforce, an inverse force field. Whereas when you go into an environment where there's only ego structure, it's going to be really, really hard to hold that space. You're, you're, even though your authentic interest is in the divine life, the spiritual life, being free of the ego mind and being in the present, in your body, here and now, silently still, with the emptiness and stillness of the vast void within, it is hard to do that when there's 20 people or 100 people or a couple hundred people around you completely identified with ego structure. They're, they think they're their body, they're their mind, they're their history, they're involved with whatever's going on. So if you go to a big carnival party, everybody is out there. And they're not in here, they're out there. And so everybody reminds you of that ego structure. Every layer of what's going on around you and, and the involvement that people are in is reminding you of the ego structure. And so that will be like a force field that's really going on right now. It's always bombarding you. You don't have the force field to hold it out. It's the opposite. It's all ego mind coming in. 
And, and when you're walking amongst them, amongst your family and friends probably as well, speaking of truth, they will, they will not accept that. So they're bombarding you. So you have to have that inverse force field going out and grow that bubble of presence, of awareness, of stillness, of consciousness, of silence. And that's what satsang really is. Satsang is the master, the guru, and the, the gathering and the intent of the people, of the gathering, to hold that space as opposed to what usually happens in the world. So hold your space, be here and now, and, and that presence will grow, grow this ability to stay inside of this, what you could call uh, inside of this dome of spill, stillness and silence and space and freedom. Because the world will smash, smash your dome. And if you can't hold it, you start bleeding from the nose and you can't hold your force field. So be as present as you can and together the, the strength of that force field, if you wish to call it so, will, will be larger and, and more people will be able to sit in silence and stillness and realize the true nature and therefore uh, heal the world and heal first yourself uh, and the system that you have and then finally also the outer world because what the world needs today more than ever is the ability for individuals to be still and silent and sit as and in the presence of their true being.